hi guys welcome to another cooking vlog so for today we're gonna cook beef caldereta kapampangan style First step, we preheat the casserole with the cooking oils. Next is we saute the garlic and wait for the garlic to be a little bit on the brown side. We put on the onion and continue to saute it until the onions are fully cooked and have softened. And we add the chilies. It's up to you how many chilies would you like, but I like it a bit spicier. Then we put the beef bones. So I prefer the one with the bones to make it tastier, but it's up to you if you want the tenderloin. Then if you have noticed, I actually uh, cooked nilaga before, so I just put in the beef bones to make it tastier. Then I put Kikoman soy sauce. If you don't have any Kikoman, any other brand would do. Here I put fish sauce as a seasoning. You may also use a table salt if you prefer it. Then we'll just wait for the beef to fully um, absorb the spice. After it boils, we put a little bit of water, just enough for it to be boiled. So in this case, we're like going to braise the beef using the beef stock with bones, oil, and spices. So we can cover it and wait for it to boil around 15 minutes. So after it boils, we may now add the tomato paste. So if you don't have any tomato paste, tomato sauce will do. So in this case, I'm using two tablespoons of tomato paste from Heinz. Then we add the pepper, black pepper. Then we cover it and wait for 45 minutes to one hour. On a separate pan, I'm using an olive oil. Make sure that the oil and pan are already heated. And then we go back to our caldereta and we add some cheese. So in this case, I just used a sliced cheese and a cheddar cheese. So any cheese would do. Then we pan fry the carrots. So to give it a little bit of difference in the texture. Because I don't want my carrots to be very mushy when it comes to caldereta. So we'll just wait for it to brown a little bit and then we do the same for potatoes. Voila! Our carrots and potatoes are already pan fried so let's just set it aside. Now this is after 45 to 1 hour. Uh, so the beef are already tender and as you can see the tomato sauce is already cooked. And then we combine the potatoes and the carrots onto the caldereta mix. Mix it and let it simmer for a while for the sauces to incorporate onto the potatoes and the carrots. So this is just a very simple dish. Enjoy it with your family!